Before continuing with this video, you should know what a condition statement is. Click the annotation you see now to watch a short video on condition statements. Another condition statement to write in VDJ script is one with two conditions or queries and three outcomes or actions. The syntax goes like this. Query A, question mark, query B, question mark, action if A and B are true, colon, action if only A is true, colon, action if A is false. Another way to look at it is like this. A, question mark, B, question mark, action 1, colon, action 2, colon, action 3. This is what the above code means. If A and B are true, then Virtual DJ will perform action 1. If only A is true, then Virtual DJ will perform action 2. If A is false, then Virtual DJ will perform action 3. Using this line of code, there is no action for if only B is true. Here's an example. Deck 2 select question mark, deck 2 loaded question mark, sampler 1 play stop, colon, sampler 2 play stop, colon, sampler 3 play stop. What this line of code does is check if deck 2 is both selected and loaded. If so, sampler 1 will play. If only deck 2 is selected, then sampler 2 will play. If deck 2 is not selected, sampler 3 will play, regardless of whether the deck is loaded or not. I have mapped this line of code to the W key on my keyboard. Here is it in action. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air. Sampler slot 3 plays because deck 2 is not selected. When we select deck 2, but do not have a track loaded into it, sampler slot 2 will play. The only time sampler slot 1 will play is if deck 2 is both selected and a track is loaded into it. Regardless of whether a track is loaded into deck 2 or not, if the deck is not selected, sampler slot 3 will play. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air. Using this same syntax, change the query and actions to fit your needs. And don't forget to check the related videos section for more on condition statements in VDJ script.